Where do you stand with this whole Oscar situation, the boycott and everything? Well, I received the honorary Oscar this past November. So traditionally, if you get in November, you come to the big thing in February. But when I saw the nominations that came out, and for the second consecutive year, are the 20 nominations that you, and actors have, zero people of color. And I, and Ty and my wife, we said, uh, you know, we're not, go we can't go, can't go. And this is very key, people. I've never told anybody what to do. I love Chris Rock. Chris Rock is a grown ass man. What he wants to do, I'm fine with. But for me, my wife and I, we can't go. Can't do it. Go into the Nick game instead. <laughs> <laughs> we're back, the Knicks. <laughs> That's, you know, a can't lot do of people. It. Look, Will Jada have joined in. There's. Don Cheadles, he's not going. So, but, but here's the interesting thing because I wrote an essay. Given my explanation, I wanted people to know why, what are the reasons I'm doing it. One of the thing, and one of the things I said was very important, I said, I'm tired of the media calling my office asking me my reaction to Oscar nominations. I said, you know what, for one time, they need to start calling up these white nominees. Ask them what their feelings about it. <laughs> and the other day, George Clooney stepped up he says something needs to be done, uh, the documentary filmmaker Michael Moore. So I really like to see more. Also, I don't wanna, I wanna hear what studio what Hollywood studio executives feel about this. Ooh. You're talking about the ones that green light film. Yes. Oh, and, those and, people. And that, and that, and there's the key people, this Oscars thing is big, but the bigger picture is, we're not in the room when they decide what we're making and what we're not making. That's where, the whole thing culminates the Oscars because they're not making the films that might be a little more visibility. Right. But still, nonetheless, two years in a row, 40 to zip. Who could, who could they have nominated over you, the past? I know it's an independent film, but has anybody here seen Beast and No Nation? Idris, mm -hmm. see, it's not a big, it was put out by Netflix. You've seen Creed, right? Yeah. yeah, that kid right there. Michael B. Jordan. Wow. Uh, Last year, I, I, David, please forgive me for not pronouncing your last name, but David, who played Dr. King in Selma. So studios have to, I think they have to really, I would like to have, in my opinion, somehow impose, have, have them come with a Rooney rule. That's used in NFL, where before a team can hire a head coach or a senior executive, they have to interview Minority candidates. Right. And that's brought about a big jump in the hirings in football. Well, you know, and, and, look, I think you, and, and, and I think you could do that in corporate America. Right. There's a frustration for these African American and Latino and, and Native American or Asian actors and actresses right. who put in good work right. who don't get any recognition. Yes. And I like your position where you said Chris Rock can decide to do what he wants to do. Because I would love to see mm -hmm. Chris Rock still host the show. And I'll tell you why. Because let me tell you I'm something. I'm not against it. Oh, no. Yeah. Let me tell you something about our okay. friend Chris Rock. Yeah. If you think on that night <laughs> that he is not <laughs> going to make some statements so loud <laughs> and it's live, you not gonna cut him out? Chris Rock... Can't start playing the music either, no, right? No, man, cause he's the host. Right. There's no way he'll let it go. Yeah. He's just too real of a guy. He can't... And, and smart. Man, very smart. Yeah. He's probably one of the smartest modern era mm -hmm. comedians to write. I don't write smart, you know what I mean? I don't... <laughs> I'm in here one time, I'm just trying to make you throw up when you come see me live. I just... <laughs> I just want beer shooting out your nose. I want you to pee on yourself. That's all I'm shooting for. Urinate on yourself? No, peeing. <laughs> I, want to go, I want you to piss. <laughs> so you know, you got urinating, you a baby. You're peeing on yourself, you're too damn old. But when you piss on yourself, you had no business. 
Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.